Joe, please look into your bride's eyes and repeat after me. I, Joe Oka. I, Joe Oka. Take you, Sandy Bodami. Take Sandy Bodami. To be my wedded wife. Bodami. <laughs> Bodami. He got me, he got me going. He got me going. He got Bodami. You take Sandy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. I take Sandy. <laughs> to be my wedded wife. Yes. No, no, you gotta repeat that. To be my wedded wife. Sandra Ariana, it all goes back to sophomore year when we had our first class together. That beautiful, strong, independent woman walking into class 15 minutes late every single day. You sure didn't know how to catch someone's attention. I just remember you always trying to sneak in like no one was going to see you walk through the only door in the class. I recall multiple times saying to myself, why even freaking show up at this point? This is where I want to be, nah, nah, nah. Never ever gonna leave, nah, nah, nah. You ain't in your life for me, nah. I'm like, nah, 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 nah. This is where I want to stay, nah, nah, nah. Who would have known I was going to marry that amazing woman and get to be late with her to every single event we ever attend? So you better know We ain't never going home We ain't never going home You better know We ain't never going home We ain't never going home Tap that ass! Joseph Robert Oka, 5-14-16 at 12 a.m. The day we graduated together from Buffalo State, you asked me to be your girlfriend. 5-15-16, after dinner at our favorite restaurants, rest in peace, Panos. You left to go back to Rochester, and we started our relationship off as long distance for three years. Back and forth every other weekend. Yes, the drive was brutal at times, but for you, for us, it was always worth it. I would do it a trillion times over in every universe if it brought me to you. All the memories we've created over the six plus years is something that I'll always look back on and never forget. Our relationship has given me countless opportunities to grow into myself and learn more about what I want out of life. The minute I laid eyes on you, it was never in question that I wanted to be with you forever. I knew you were the one because from the moment I met you, you felt like home. You've stood beside me on some of the most brunk, broken, bumpy, painful roads and walked with me hand in hand to find the light on the other side. You are my person that I run to with all of my highest achievements, happiest memories, and future crazy ideas. You will always be, and always have been, my guiding light. I loved you first. <laughs> <laughs> and you taught me what I should look for in a man, so thank you. Because a lot of people aren't as lucky to have a dad like you. <laughs> you smear my makeup? Mine is messed up. <laughs> <laughs> After today, we'll continue to face the future without fear because we'll always have each other to lean on. Wherever this crazy life's journey leads us, please know that my heart belongs with you every single second that we may live. I know I picked the best guy to get through all the long days with. You are my family and you will never walk alone in this life.
Sandy and I actually met back in the 90s, um, 1997 to be specific. But Sandy, you are my sister, you're my best friend, and you're my business partner. You give me advice when I need it most. You've had my back even when I was in the wrong. You taught me the power of overachieving. And that is nothing is impossible if you never stop talking. I mean, if you never give up. If you never give up. Now for Joe. <laughs> In all honesty, Joe, I know sometimes we're not the easiest family to please. But you have proven time and time again that there is nothing that will stand between you and your love for Sandy. You have a big heart and you wear it on your sleeve. You remind us to appreciate the little things in life. And most importantly, you understand the significance of the saying, happy wife, happy life. My bet is that this love will last a lifetime. Congratulations, and I love you both. Cheers.